a trend that I hope never come back. Uh, what niggas had on foot skip ball jerseys or some shit? <laughs> I don't know if it was a trend or I was too young to know if it was a trend. But that nigga Joe Budden had on a fushkit ball jersey. <laughs> that shit is so funny to me, bro. That's the weakest shit ever, bro. It's nobody in life that played foot skip ball, bro. That's the funniest shit, bro. What is that? You never seen that shit? You want me to pull it up? Put skip ball jersey, no. <laughs> That's dead ass a foot skip ball jersey, bro. Don't ever have one of them shits on, bro. A foot skip ball jersey, bro. What the fuck is that, bro? That nigga Joe Button got some explaining to do, bro. He's a crazy. He's a crazy. Shout out to Montreality. I'm Ken Carson. And this is my Montreal interview. I try and smile because off camera I might not be smiling like for days. So it's like I'm I don't wanna bring your day down with my day. So if like I seen you on a bad day, I would probably smile and say, yo, what's up? I don't know, I just wanna be good energy. I don't wanna be like no super down motherfucker. Why is it like that? Like motherfuckers can't smile no more, like Kanye didn't switch the shit around. Like, you gotta walk around with a fucking mug on your face. You gotta look like the maddest motherfucker. The baddest motherfucker. I don't really care. That's why I'm smiling. 10 year old me, I was like, oh, so. I was still, it was still music. Like, I was listening to music more than anything. Life is way more simpler. The hair was definitely different. I had a fro. Oh, I slapped my teacher when I was 10. <laughs> I slapped my teacher when I was 10. That's probably the most exciting thing I did when I was 10 years old. I was like, I was like, come here, I got to tell you something. <laughs> Man, I got in trouble for that. I got crazy whooping for that. Favorite cartoon character on... Um, Hmm. You ever you ever seen the Boondocks, Riley? <laughs> My favorite co cartoon character. He funny as hell. <laughs> That's the funniest cartoon character. That's my favorite one. Hmm. Oh, when he was playing basketball, he was playing basketball, right? He was crossing everybody up, and he got to the rim. <laughs> He like shot the ball over the cold, bro. He like, there's like, there's literally a situation in life like you can get through everything so easy, hoop, hoop, hoop. Then you get to the goal, you like, damn, I don't even know how to shoot for real. When I was younger, I used to play like, play like fighting games, like Def Jam, Fight for New York, WWE. I used to love WWE like fuck, bro. Like, that hard fan. Nobody could tell me that shit was fake. What was the question again? What's the realest shit you ever wrote? Oh, the realest shit I ever wrote. Uh, uh, got contraband on me through TSA. I don't give a fuck. It's always about what he or she say. I don't give a fuck. They never say that shit to my face because I keep it tough. I know all of these bitches be lame. All of these niggas be lame. You ain't stay down, you change. Now you want a piece of my change. All of these niggas, they change. All of these bitches, they change. These niggas be changing up. You ain't gotta stay down because they gonna change on ya. Yeah, I feel like that's my really shit I ever, ever wrote. I mean, I don't write. So spoke. I don't write shit. The most precious 
advice I got from Cardi. Um, put your phone down, man. <laughs> put your phone down. Like, if I'm down or some shit, he might just be like, bro, just pull up, put your phone down, bro. I've been on him for a long time, so it's like, we super goofy, like, <laughs> we be laughing at everything, bro. We watch movies. Mm, I get some of my ways of doing things from him, like, we, I ain't gonna lie, we just went to Lollapalooza for, for, in Chicago. The festival Lola Palooza, and he was just so turned. <laughs> he was like running dumb fast, bro. I was telling him like afterwards, like, bro, where the fuck you just get that energy from? <laughs> that shit was crazy. But he let me know, and now I'm finna be moving with the same energy. Shit, we both broke. I got a dollar. And I'm finna get both of us some. Even though I only got a dollar. That's love. It's no deeper than that, bro. That's love. For real. Somebody who care whether you eat or not. Whether you slept or had a good day or a bad day. Caring, motherfucker. Somebody who care. Romantic. Mmm. I sent some flowers. <laughs> I sent some flowers, man. Yeah, man. Flowers. You send flowers, bro. You really fuck with somebody. I feel like humans of today got a lot of growing to do because it's like everybody think they this or that or... I still look at everybody on the same level. Like, I don't look at nobody bigger than the next person. And that's why I get to the next point. And that's also where I get blessed sometimes. Because I'm not, like, judging anybody or some shit, bro. That shit is annoying. I hate when people come around judging. It's a big turn off. Don't be a judger, bro. Don't be a judger. Let God, leave it up to God to judge a motherfucker, bro. You ain't even looked in the mirror yet. How you gonna look over at my mirror? You ain't even looked at your mirror, right? You obviously don't know that I don't give a fuck. Uh, to me, X was like a big energy, bro, because it's like, I feel like a rebel, like, um, I'm not really with everything that the average person's with, or like, I'm not thinking like the average motherfucker. That's why I fuck with him so much. Felt like he was like speaking for the youth, really, bro. It wasn't like it was just he get him getting love, the most love. He was getting the most hate in all angles. Like, X, he was like beefing with Drake at the time. I feel like they was trying to like cancel them, black ball and ball type of shit. Shit never worked. Super rebellious, super energizing, like. Man, bro. That shit is crazy how somebody could like just be here today, gone tomorrow. RPX, man. Uh, my message to the youth is don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. Try anything and everything you want to do because life is short or long. So, like, bro, do everything you want to fucking do. Knock that shit out, bro. See if you like it. If you do, keep doing it. If it's something, if it's something beneficial, you keep doing it, bro. It'll finally pay off one day, I promise, bro. You just got to. Keep doing that shit, bro. Because I was doing this music shit without even thinking of it actually being work, bro. And it just turned into my playground. It's just crazy. You can see the manifestation. Like, you can see me in old videos with people, like, not the same clothes on, not the jury. It's like, 
really nothing, really got nothing at the time, but really just accepting the time and taking advantage of the time given. Montreality show. I could read my future, ain't no way I would look I would just follow my heart until the day that it stopped I saw my name in balance, no misplacing my foot I ain't scared of no challenge, I'm a roll, I'm a rock